Nerd Reactor, roll out. What's up, everybody? John here, and it's time to talk about the Northmen. And you may notice my eye, it's messed up. Uh, it's, it's, it's bloody, and I think it's kind of fitting for this review because the Northmen is very bloody, and I just had to talk about this. I had to share my love of this film to you all because after experiencing it, I was like completely blown away. This movie is directed by Robert Eggers, who previously has done Lighthouse. I wasn't a huge fan of Lighthouse, but I did like the performances between uh, you know Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe. But I just wasn't a fan of the story. However, this one, I was completely blown away with just the uh, story, the character arc, and just what the character uh, has to do. And this one, it stars Alexander Skarsgård. He plays this warrior that's living during the Viking Age. Pretty much his family has been taken away from him, and now he seeks revenge. So my thoughts on this film is that the Northman is raw savage and uncompromising it's a ruthless revenge story set during the viking age and alexander skarsgård is a beast of a man and he is he just goes all out so yeah alexander skarsgård he's been training and you you watch him in this movie you're like yeah this guy he's been working out he's got that viking look he's a tall man he's got the muscles and uh, he is just just pure rage and just pure muscles. And uh, throughout the movie, you're watching this journey of this man who's been his whole life trying to figure out how do I avenge my family? And that's his thing. So yeah, the whole model for this film is to avenge father, save mother, and kill Fonir. And Fonir is the bad guy that has been on the back of his mind yeah, with Fonir, uh, with the uh, Clay's playing him, there's like some subtlety, some nuance to the character. He's not truly evil, and you can kind of see like where he's coming from. And then for Alexander's mom is played by Nicole Kidman, Nicole Kidman as the Queen Gudrun, and you also have Ethan Hawke playing the father. The family cast members he's like some high profile actors and so yeah with these actors they really go out they really go all out with this and with robert behind the camera working on this film you know you're in for some crazy things and with this set during the viking age they're not shy from showing you how tough or how rough life can be back then like you have one village being taken out by a raid and yeah, back then life was brutal. So yeah, they would pillage and plunder and uh, you would see uh, people being enslaved and people dying and all that stuff. And they do not shy away from that. And Alexander Skarsgård, he plays Amleth. So Amleth, as he grows older, he figures out a way like, oh, um, I can get closer to Fionir now. So and with Alexander Skarsgård as Amleth, he also has the aid of another person. Anya Taylor-Joy plays Olga. And what I like about this is that you really get to see how badass or how savage these characters are. And it's all about psyching the enemies, scaring them, doing whatever it takes to become the strongest. There's like a scene where as Amleth, as a young boy, is being trained and uh, just kind of like a rite of passage so it's that part where you're taking off your clothes showing off your strength and howling like wolves and here it's all about just that just raw power and just showing the might and uh, trying to scare off others who gets in your way and also psyching other people out and there are many moments of that throughout the film but yeah, there's like a lot of different elements from that Viking life, for example, like the drinking with the skull and then also with the ceremonies and with the sacrifice and with the sacrifice, it gets bloody. It's like there's like just spraying blood all over the place. Uh, but yeah, with it, like the story, right? It's, it's a pretty simple story. It's a revenge story. And what really makes this interesting is what they do during that time using what they know like the directors the filmmakers uh, okay this is set during the viking times and if we're going to do a revenge story let's do one using norse mythology either no using it to help 
uh, Amleth to help him exact his revenge or using it so that others are scared of the forces out there, like the uh, mythology behind it. Like, oh, is this the work of Odin or is this the work of the gods? And this film is definitely a love letter to Norse mythology and to the Viking Age because Norse mythology, you have the Valkyries where they would take the warriors to Valhalla and here the movie like hints at a lot of these things uh, where uh, this is like their day to day life of being warriors. And instead of it being like this epic in scope of this story that could span decades, it's a very intimate story and it's very self-contained. So it's kind of like taking this part of the Viking age and creating a small story out of it, a small revenge story where they can really take it to the next level on how far Amleth will go to avenge his father to help save his mother and to kill Fjolnir. But yeah, Robert Eggers said that there is a naked sword fight in a volcano. We will be getting that. And when I saw it, I was like, wow. They did it. They uh, decided to go out loud and do this naked sword fight in a volcano. And this is kind of like how what 300 should have been. Because if you read 300, the uh, graphic novel, these guys just had their capes and they were pretty much naked. But in the 300 movie, they were wearing underwear. But here, all naked, sword fight, volcano. Enough said. And let's talk about the cast. Like, for example, you got Nicole Kidman, Clace Bang, you got Anya Taylor Joy, you have Ethan Hawke. They all have done a fine job with these characters. Some characters you hate, some characters you enjoy their performance. And the one that absolutely shines is Alexander Skarsgård. He is the meat of the story, he's the main character. You're watching him go through this journey. And he will be dealing with all kinds of things and slowly calculating on how to exact his plan. Let's talk about the action. There are like a lot of cool action sequences. There's parts where uh, with the sword, things get really bloody. Uh, but one where, especially if you're a fan of the Assassin's Creed video games, or just like just really cool counter moves, there's like a really cool move that Alexander Skarsgård does. And when I saw it, I was like, yes, yes, this movie is it. This is uh, this is going to be such a badass movie. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the ride. But yeah, the action isn't like in the film throughout. So there are certain parts where there's action here and there. But when the action happens, it's really brutal and bloody. And then for the other parts, you get to see Alexander Skarsgård just trying to figure things out, plan things out, and just seeing the life. Uh, and this, the world around him, especially with the the Viking life through the boats and through the island of Iceland. Just beautiful scenery, beautiful cinematography. So it does feel like a Robert Eggers film kind of with like, because there's like weird stuff that you're watching that's happening. And then also this revenge story. And you're like putting it together to make this movie called The Northmen. And it's a great combination of just this slow burn story uh, that leads to these really brutal graphic violent moments and then you're at the end rooting for Amleth to uh, avenge his father to save his mother and then finally to kill Fjolnir and that's pretty much the gist of this movie and I've enjoyed it so far as one of my favorite films so yeah, those are my thoughts on this film. Let me know what your thoughts are on the comments below. With that said, I'm John, and I'll see you guys next time.